Oh yeah. I'm gonna do something about. Uh, I was gonna say something about the the police. And uh, it was not gonna be a good thing, by the way, just to let y'all right now. Uh, but for the first time in in um. Well, not the first time, but like. I think as time goes on, we're steadily seeing uh, more and more data in support of the sort of ACAB arguments, which I like. I like to see that. Um, because, you know, it's always nice when you have data to support your position. That's that's good. I, this is a lot, of, a lot of bad guys running around. What are you doing? Well, I mean, they're the indigenous life. I might be the bad guy here. But, uh, you know... Get this coffee, very nice. Even though I can't have coffee in real life, I like it in this game. My favorite equipment, yes. Love this thing. So, I have a Reuters article about this. According to the data, police are not cri primarily crime fighters, uh, which basically mirrors what myself and every anarchist who isn't an anarcho capitalist. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you. Let's, let me see if I can find some of the finer points here. A new report adds to the gl growing line of research showing that police departments don't solve serious or violent crimes with any regularity, and in fact spend very little time on crime control, in contrast to popular narratives. Uh, the report was published October 25th by advocacy group Catalyst California and ACLU, uh, it relies on county's budget numbers and new policing data under the state's Racial and Identity Profiling Act, which took effect in 2019. So this is October of last year. This is some recent data. So, uh, you know, a people who say ACAB are, are uh, supported by the data. And people who say no cops are necessary, actually, are making an appeal to, uh, appeal to authority, for the most part. Um... I mean, that second part isn't entirely true. There is still, like, um, there are still studies that produce data that sort of rely on the assumption that cops do serve a function, but, it, like, more so, it's it's coming to light lately, recently, that cops do not, in fact, provide any benefit to society as a, as a, as a group. Like, if you, a person, God, I, I had to, um... I was talking with my sister about this, and I had to keep clarifying to her, you as a person, if you are a cop, might not be a bad human being, but as a product of your job, you offer nothing to society, if you're a cop. Um, let me go on here. The law requires police to report basic information about their work, and including demographics, and the duration of a stop and what actions are taken, such as ordering somebody out of a car. The records provided by the local sheriff's department in LA, Sacramento, San Diego, and Riverside showed uh, patterns of long-standing racial disparities. Big shocker there, you know. Um, even even people who aren't part of the ACAP crowd, I think, would, would willingly acknowledge that the police are pretty racist. Uh, I don't think that's the uh, issue here. Oh, oops. Uh, here we go. Let's see, yeah, okay, black people were twice as likely as white people to be stopped. That makes sense, given what we know. Most, uh, more notably... Researchers analyzed data, uh, an analyzed the data, excuse me, to show how officers spend their time. Uh, and the patterns that emerge tell a striking story about how poli policing actually works. Those results, too, comport with existing research that show that U.S. police spend much of their time conducting racially biased stops and searches of minority drivers, often without a reasonable suspicion, rather than fighting crime. Because, guys, I'm going to tell you something. In a wealthy country... Crime is going to be low. When resources are plentiful, there is no reason for anybody to commit crime. Contrary to what liberals will tell you, criminal is not a separate class of human being that has essentially worse moral characteristics. They are people who have certain material incentives to do things that uh, 
that contradict the material interests of property owners and the law. Uh, the law being primarily constructed to uh, protect property owners. And of course, also, I mean, really just criminal just means anybody who has done something that is not uh, in keeping with the law. And there are a number of reasons to, to do something like that. And I might add that all criminals are not like what you would think of when you hear the word criminal. Somebody who commits, for example, piracy online, you would never know. And in fact, the, the if they're committing piracy against a sufficiently large company, the company would never know. In instances like that, there are such things as victimless crimes. Um, because it's a thing that is a crime that doesn't uh, substantially materially affect anybody. Not in a negative way, at least. Uh, but now that I have uh, briefly revisited my pro shoplifting uh, politics... <laughs> Uh, by the way, don't do that. You'll, you'll get in trouble for that. That's the real reason that you shouldn't do it. Um, yeah, liberals will tell you that, like, oh, criminal refers to a kind of person that is essentially worse in their characteristics when really it's just somebody who is either uh, in need of mental health services and, and uh, well, in need of a lot of therapy or in need of some sort of... Uh, material assistance in their life. People of sound mind and circumstance do not commit crimes, um, you know, such as, I don't know, larceny. Like, that's not a thing that happens. Um, unless they're, like, young teenagers experimenting with breaking certain social norms. Like, that's a pretty normal thing. Uh, but back to this Reuters article. Let's see. Overall, sheriff patrol officers spend significantly more time on officer-initiated stop, uh, in quotes, proactive policing, uh, in law enforcement enforcement uh, parlance, than they do responding to community members' calls for help, according to the report. Research has shown that the practice is a fundamentally ineffective public safety strategy. Uh, in 2019, 88% of the time uh, LA County Sheriff's officers spent on stops was for officer-initiated stops rather than in response to calls. The overwhelming majority of that time, 79%, was traffic violations. By contrast, just 11% of those hours uh, were spent on stops based on a reasonable suspicion of a crime. So basically, crime is not only a non-problem, it is such a non-problem uh, like, on its own, in the sociological sense, that police have to look for excuses to justify their own existence by, like, pulling randos over. And by randos, I mean black people. Um, but, you know, still randos. Here we go. In Riverside, about 83% of deputies' time uh, spent on officer-initiated stops went to traffic violations, just 7% on reasonable suspicion. So, similar statistics across multiple different locales. God damn, I'm glad I got an incinerator. That thing does a lot of work. Hey, another one of these things. These are cool. I don't remember seeing a scrapper. Not gonna bother. That's also a shield printer. I don't care for shield print. Researchers calculated that more of the department's budgets go towards fruitless traffic stops than responses to service calls. Uh, essentially wasting millions of public dollars. If you extrapolate these findings, if you were to uh, replicate this research at a uh, national level, you know, across multiple districts and uh counties and whatever across the country where police you know do that do their thing you would most likely find a similar trend such that the this number of public money uh being wasted would be on the order of billions of dollars we in in the united states if you add up every like police department budget across the country uh just accounting for like local police and not like the fbi and all that we spend something like $300 billion yearly just on policing. For perspective, that's about... 
That's more than a third of what we spend on our military. The United States has the most over bloated, uh, overly bloated um, expenditures of any military on the planet. Um, if you were to make a list of like the top 10 uh, most expensive militaries, like countries that spend the uh, most money on their militaries, uh, if you included American police on that list, uh, the American military would be first, and the American police would be second. And it wouldn't even be close with, with the rest of the world. Except, I think, maybe China. China might spend a comparable amount on their military to our police, which is, uh, well... Not exactly something to brag about from the U.S.'s perspective, but, um... Here, once I, I tell you what I I am uh, I'm gonna get to the rest of this article once I collapse that void thing. Like once I get rid of all the purple enemies. As we all remember from Five Nights at Freddy's, purple is a bad color. It means a purple guy. Okay, so there's just the one left. There we go. Nice. Okay, here we go. We found there's a significant is consistency between their practices, uh, according to the researchers. And and uh, what the public might think police do, Smith said. Um, Smith said. Um, it begs the question of why we keep doubling down on public safety strategies that have pr proven time and time again to fail. Because it's not actually about public safety. Understand this. I'm going to interject here as like, um, obviously a biased party. What the police do is not actually public safety. If we cared about public safety, we would be following the data and we have, would have long since scrapped the notion of a police department uh, because it has its origins, obviously, in protecting, first, the rights of slavers and then, second, the rights of robber barons uh, and then now the rights of still robber barons uh, but property owners more broadly. And uh, it, it's not a good way to ensure any degree of public safety as the data shows, which, of course, Riverside Sheriff said is flawed. The The data, he says, is flawed. Little does he know. He's talking about himself, actually. This data is all self-reported. They're going from data that the police departments themselves have provided, which means that the police departments are making themselves look bad. This is likely a sanitized version of how bad the police are. All four departments declined to answer specific questions about how officers spend their time and didn't provide contradictory information. They didn't provide any arguments to the contrary, so suffice it to say they're full of shit. Um, the prevailing political myth about police work was echoed again in August when President Biden announced his administration's fund the police measure to support hiring more cops around the country. When it comes to fighting crime, we know what works. Officers on the street who know the neighborhood, Biden said. Most of the existing research flatly contradicts that account. Nice. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is good. In 2016. In fact, let me put this on screen so you guys can all see this, uh, this line here. Let's zoom in. In 2016, a group of criminologists conducted a systematic review of 62 earlier studies of police uh, force size and crime between 1971 and 2013. They concluded that 40 years of studies consistently show that, quote, the overall effect uh, size for police force, wait, the overall effect size for police force size on crime is negative, small, and not statistically significant. To clarify what that means, when they say negative, they means they mean larger police force equals more crime. Uh, I think overall effect size for police force. No, wait. Negative just means decrease. Okay, so a bigger police force slightly decreases crime, but the decrease is so slight that it is not statistically significant relative to not having a police force at all. Or relative to having a smaller police force, which presumably is not statistically significant relative to having no police force. 
This line of research has exhausted its utility, the authors wrote. Uh, changing policing strategy is likely to have a greater impact on crime than adding more police. Uh, decades of data similarly shows that police don't solve much serious and violent crime, the safety issues that, concern, that most concern everyday people. That's right, the police aren't there to solve murders. They're not there to solve uh, kidnappings, murders, etc. Unless it concerns a rich person, in which case they're on the case. Over the past decade, consistently less than half of all violent crime and less than 25% of all crop property crime, crime uh, were cleared. Holy shit. This is in a review article of uh, other studies. Police have never solved crimes with any regularity as arrest and clearance rates are consistently low throughout history. And police have never solved even a bare majority of serious crimes. Law enforcement is a relatively small part of what police do every day. Uh, Barry Friedman, a law professor, uh, wrote in a 2021 review, uh, review article. That it has shown that the average police officer spent about one hour per week responding to crimes in progress, Friedman wrote. Goddamn. Police spend most of their time on traffic violations and routine minor issues like noise complaints, according to three different recent analyses of dispatch data from LA, Baltimore, Detroit, New Orleans, Seattle, New and New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, so some big cities. New York Times reviewed uh, national dispatch data from the FBI in June 2020 and found that just 4% of officers' time is devoted to violent crime. We hope the report helps reshape the narrative about relationship between law enforcement and safety. Yeah. Okay. That might have been boring for some folks, uh, but I really want to uh, drive the point home with that, that the police are not there to solve crime. That's not what they're good at. Uh... And if you think that they are there to do that, well, now you don't, because you've seen you've seen that there's been uh, research to contradict that. In fact, 40 years of research to contradict that, which is uh, about twice as long as I've been alive. I'm I'm 22. So yeah, when uh, when uh, police go out there, they're out there to um, they're out there to crack black skulls and to uh, beat up protesters and to break strikes. That's why the police exists. First and foremost. Anything else is strictly secondary.